Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the freaking channel. Today is the day. I got my sweatshirt ready. We are going to buy our first right-hand drive vehicle, another Jeep Cherokee. I cannot freaking wait to get started on this build. Unfortunately, my fiance works tonight and tomorrow night. So all we're gonna get to do today is pick the Jeep up, drive it two miles across the bridge and we're home and that's all all we get to do today so i'll probably end up continuing this video tomorrow but we'll pick the jeep up today and that's probably about it so it's got or it's got like two hundred and thirty thousand miles on it it's a 2000 and that don't even matter it's a little rough on the edges but it's probably going to be the trail rig so let's go pick this thing up i'm freaking excited Alrighty y'all, we're freaking here. We freaking did it. We are in a right hand drive Jeep Cherokee. I'm so freaking excited. Not only do I have a Jeep again, not only do I have an XJ again, I got a right hand drive one. Oh, I wonder if the cruise control works. It's got cruise control buttons. The MP231, which is freaking great. So this is definitely going to be the trail rig. The other one that I'm going to be buying soon has the 242 so it has the part-time full-time um levers um so this has the better transfer case this one's definitely rough um i mean look at this so we'll get her home and we'll take a better look at her but i'm freaking pumped baby i'm freaking pumped all right guys so i pulled the jeep in the garage she ain't the prettiest she ain't the nicest but it was a thousand dollars and here she is so it is the next day after picking it up i literally just pulled it in the garage it sat outside it snowed last night it's cold so cold that these shop lights aren't working that one's flickering these ones aren't that bright so i got the door open we're just gonna have to deal with it so this is actually the first time i even looked underneath the hood actually i should leave this open um let me find my light <laughs> i'm just gonna use this to try to help us see some things so as you can see like the paint's cracking there's some rust showing um it's definitely it's rough on the edges but like i said it's the first time i've opened the hood brand new battery and the motor looks pretty damn clean not gonna lie so i don't know if this is actually the original motor that came in the jeep or not um if it is, then for having 230,000 miles on it, it's pretty damn clean. Um, just looking around, it's definitely a lot different than than the uh, than your traditional left-hand drive Jeep. Um, like you get obviously your steering racks on this side, the uh, reservoir for your brake fluids on this side. Usually, it's on that side, right? I don't remember. It's been a while since I looked under the Jeep or under the hood of a Jeep since October. So this side is where we get a little more rough. Missing a fender flare. Oh, well, it's probably all going to be missing anyway. Rocker panel is not the greatest. This is all tape actually right here. You can probably see better without the light. This is all taped up. And then if we open this door, you can see. Oh, now we got to grab the flashlight. Oh. So if we open this door, you can see the rocker panel is completely gone in here. Um, it didn't get cleaned out, but that's fine. I'm not worried about it. So there's some trash. There's the little stand thing. I don't know if there's any seat brackets down there at all. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Actually, the fender flares under there. There's some stuff under here. We're gonna. I'm gonna take this out real quick. Okay. So underneath the great old shelf found some wood that was holding it up the fender flare for right there uh, and a bunch a bunch of trash so my fiance is actually taking this to work today um so i can take the car to go pick the our baby up because as you can see there's no bench seat there so obviously can't put a baby seat and the blower motor in this is fried or something isn't grounded or i don't know but there's no blower motor so she only has to drive two miles down the work. So she's going to 
put up with it for me so I can go pick the baby up so we can get some house chores done and so I can make this video. But I'm definitely going to clean it out for her. There's some engine oil and a bunch of trash, some degreaser, brake fluid, whatever. Bungee cords and a fender flare. But I'm definitely going to need this front passenger seat, that front driver seat, the bench seat for back there. We'll walk around. Actually, why do I have this door open still? Uh oh. There we go. A headliner sagging. So we got a, a saggy headliner, which is normal, and XJ's not worried about it. Um, trunk area is pretty clean. So I think the only rust is that rocker panel, which can get replaced by a, um, a steel, not tube, but a steel square, whatever the hell. Um, rear bumper, obviously going to get replaced with an off-road bumper in the future. And then the only other issue rust-wise that I know about besides like surface rust and what you can see is right on the unibody part here. Um, there's a hole in the floor. So from where, cause it was a male Jeep. So I'm assuming somebody didn't have a floor mat here and their foot was constantly on the brake and it just eventually corroded through. But as far as I know, that's the unibody right there. Cause if you come underneath of the Jeep, let me put this back. Whatever I can say like that. If you come underneath of the Jeep here, um, there's no hole. There is no hole underneath the Jeep. I'm pretty sure it's right in there where the hole is at. Um, I'm going to crawl underneath of this and show you how solid this thing actually is. All right. So what I'm going to do before I continue making a video is I'm going to get all the junk out of this thing. So that way... It is cleaned out. If you're wondering why I have a mask on, it's because it is cold as fucking hell. And I'm tired of my face freezing. So, you know, you got the all these COVID masks laying around, so I'm going to put one on. Any other time? Hell no. It's too cold to not have a mask on right now, though. So I, I'm going to need to order me some face shields so I can work in my garage comfortably then over the wintertime um, while I don't have heat. So I'm going to work on cleaning the junk out of this thing. And then we'll continue this video. All right. So after like 30, 45 minutes of vacuuming, I got it pretty good. Figured I would leave all the fluids in here, some Rain-X, um, bungee cords, whatever. I figured I'd just leave all that in there. Um, doesn't hurt to have. So there's that hole we are talking about. Uh, and so pretty much it needs all the interior seats. Um, this rocker panel is pretty good besides some starting to rust might be able to just sand sand down paint over it but like i said i'm going to replace the rocker panel anyways on that side with some steel tubing um or some square tubing oh i was wondering why that hole is over there it's for the uh for the seat that makes sense glad i didn't throw that bolt away um so yeah interior not too bad um the more i look at this jeep though I almost like want to take on the project of restoring it, um, repainting it, like just making it really clean, a budget boost for a lift, some 31s, 32s. Um, I still have the uh, Rubicon takeoffs over here. So this is a 30 inch tire. These are all like 32s. So, I mean, I could cut the fenders <laughs> right now and stuff these bitches on there. That would look, that would look funny but unfortunately i don't have the time to do that today and i don't know where i want to take the project with this thing um like i said restore it trail rig whatever like rust isn't that bad um i forgot i was going to climb underneath of this thing show you guys how pretty solid this damn thing is so we'll start with this um we got that hole the the rust right there the rocker panel on the passenger side and then like the surface rust, everything needs like repainted or not repainted, but sanded and repainted. And then we got this, the typical quarter panel rust on these things. It's on both sides like that. I'm um, not too worried about that. 
Um, it's normal for these to do that. And you can do a tuck and fold anyways, or just, I mean, there's nothing to fold. So you just put a piece of steel over there. Now this part back here, that's looking a little rough. It still looks pretty solid. Might be able to get away with sanding down that part of the unibody and painting over it. Um, but here, we'll crawl underneath. So coming underneath, I mean, the thing's pretty freaking solid underneath. Besides some, like, I think, I think I said in a previous, my previous video, or maybe I was talking to a friend, I don't remember. This seal looks pretty blown out and it just got goop everywhere unless something else is leaking, which I'm not too concerned about. Um, I'm going to put the Jeep up in the air eventually and go over everything as it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Jeep's not in bad shape when it comes to rust. Unibody is solid from everywhere I've looked. Um, floors look solid from everywhere I'm looking. Can't really complain. I'll crawl over to the other side. We can get a better look at that side. So crawling over to this side now. No, no complaints really. Um, that looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to get out of there when we take the, take the shocks off. So I think first step is obviously going over everything, making sure things work, what needs replaced. This thing's not bad. I mean, for a thousand dollars running, driving Jeep XJ and it's right hand drive. So to me, that adds value to it. Um, it's a 97 plus, it's a 2000, so it's a 97 plus, obviously. Um, and in my opinion, the TJ Rubicon wheels look better on these. So this thing definitely needs some love. Once it, uh, once I get the heat situation figured out, um, then I'll take it over I we'll spray her down on the outside, get her all cleaned up, see how the paint looks with just a quick wash. Um, known issues, things that don't work. Lower motor is not working. Cruise control is not working. Let's see. Lights, or I mean windows. That goes down. That wants to go down. That goes down. Okay. The back one, that doesn't work. Let me try from that side. Let's see. Just let's figure out. <laughs> let's figure out what doesn't work on old girl um so this light's not even on oh it, yeah something so the passenger sides sound like the, the motors are seized up they're trying to move could just be the cold weather uh let's check the lights come on we're doing an inspection on this thing why not right i know the dash lights do work um turn signals work nothing was flashing weird Cool, all them bulbs are working. Working, working, sweet. Now, let me see, I gotta get this thing back into two wheel drive. Um, when I was cleaning it, I popped the, the lever up, but it wasn't letting me go back in to two wheel drive. So let's see here, what's the issue? Yep, just cause it was in park, so. Not too bad, man, I'm not complaining for a thousand dollars. I didn't even see if the radio works, let's see here. Is this on? Up, oh, copyright. Um, to the front. Woo! All right, so. <laughs> All right, so now we know <laughs> speakers are blown. I'm going to get a new head unit anyways. Um, 229,000 miles, close to 230,000. All right, so I don't know what else to cover. I think we got everything covered, really. Got our walk around, got our known issues. Um, trying to think. I don't really have any parts from the five-speed XJ that I had parted out. 
Um, that was a 95 anyway, so nothing would really work. I mean, the interior could have possibly worked in this, but I'm not too worried about it. I didn't plan on buying a Jeep. Um, I don't know if I said it in the previous video or not, but um, I asked about both of her right-hand drive vehicles, or both of her right-hand drive XJs for years. Um, and like two or three weeks after I bought the Volkswagen, she texted me, said, hey, um, you're the first one and the only one that was like really ever interested in them. So if you want them, I'll sell them to you. No rush. Um, take as long as you need. So I said, all right, that sounds good considering I just bought this car. I don't really have the money right now. And here we are four, three, four, five months later. We have one of them. I'd still like to purchase the second one. Um, we'll see. Uh, like I said, the second one's a 96. It's a lot cleaner. Um, it has 211,000 kilometers on it. That one is a Canadian, Japanese Jeep something. Um, so it's not written in miles, it's in kilometers. Before I continue to keep rambling on, um, I think I got everything covered. Like I said, we got the known issues with this, what needs fixed. Um, can't really think of anything else to cover. We looked at the Jeep, I cleaned it out. So let me know your comments um, or put in the comments down below what you guys want to see done with this one. Should we beat the shit out of it, trail rig it, lift it? Should we restore it in stock form, make it really nice? Should we make it nice and do like a budget boost little street build on it? Um, you just let me know what kind of build you want to see. Um, I mean, money is kind of an object when it comes to how fast things can get done. But at the same time, money's not really an object. Um, so if, we, if we're going to do a super cheap budget build, um, I'll go that path. Restore, I'll go that path. Trail rig on a, on a big budget. Whatever, whatever the case is, we'll figure it out. Just comment it down below what you want to see. Um, and if you're new to the channel, you got to hit the subscribe button, man, because we got ourselves a right-hand drive XJ. We might be acquiring... A second one sometime in the future i can't do this mask anymore i can't oh i'm just gonna have to suffer <clears throat> like i said might be acquiring a second one in the future and doing two separate builds and then if you're into race car stuff autocross build not really a build we're just gonna autocross this thing this year um so i'm trying to talk my fiance into trading her car in on a truck so I can then purchase a trailer and then when I need to, tow the Jeep, tow the race car, whatever. But I think that's it. So yeah, if you're new to the channel and you're excited for a Jeep build, hit the subscribe button. If you're excited for race car content this season, uh, car show season, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this video, just hit the subscribe button. You're already here. Let's make that subscriber count higher. Um, make sure you drop a thumbs up. That uh, helps get the, the my videos spread it around there. Makes YouTube want to show them to other people. Make sure you share because I want to hear many, many people's opinions on what the hell we should do with this thing. Um, lastly, you got to comment down below what we're going to do with this thing. Other than that, I will see you guys in a future Jeep video when we're tearing into this thing more and more. Until then, have a good time. Stay safe out there. It is winter. Make sure you're paying attention on these snowy, icy roads. Stay safe, guys. Peace out. All right, I figured I would just include an extra clip in the video since, you, since my fiance has to take the Jeep to work today. Here, I'll move the fender flare for you. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put black ice in here. I wanted to make it smell nice for you, I'm sorry. There you go, that clean floor that I cleaned just for you. Oh, I forgot. Give me the key.
I put gas in it. I swear, I put some gas in it. From the, I put my lawnmower gas in it. So I can get to work at home. Yes, you'll be fine. Okay. Great. All right. Have fun. I will. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Turn your lights on. Is it in reverse? Oh, the reverse lights don't work. That's bad. Illegal. What? Bye. <laughs> there she goes, driving a right-hand drive Jeep.